we get ready for preseason hockey, getting closer to the real thing. And here we go. Opening draw is won by the Predators, and they'll tip the puck into the hurricane zone. And Carolina's Jacob Slavin promptly sends it right back on the Nashville end, where Red's looking to clear the zone and will be picked up by Philip Forsberg. Forsberg is bothered there by Brady Shea, and the puck rolls into the corner. Forsberg gets it back, backhand out in front, shot right on you. Shane with a chance, and they score. Ryan Johansson on the doorstep as Nashville forces the turnover. And it's Ryan Johansson cashing in, and it's 1-0 Nashville. Preseason game, but it's a big preseason for these three right here. Ryan Johansson, Matthew Shane, they're going to carry this team offensively, and this is the thing that John Hines wants out of the guy, these guys. He wants grit. You see Philip Forsberg, he goes, digs that puck out of the corner. Matthew Shane takes it to the net, and Ryan Johansson goes right to the blue paint and he tucks it in right behind Ronta. That's the identity that this team, Ryan Johansson is a big, strong guy. He has the ability to physically dominate hockey games. He's more of a playmaker. They want to see him shoot and go to the net a lot more. And this preseason, they played very well against Tampa. They continue that here to start this game. Now Lorenz with a quick snapshot. Soros can't handle it. Loose change out in front. Kane's whack at it. Still up, still up. Who established himself in the National Hockey League last year. But with all this depth, he has, you know, he has a lot to play for. Jesper Foss kept the play alive. Lorenz wasn't a spectator looping around the net. The former Norris Trophy winner, Roman Yossi, made a Vezina-like save, but Lorenz stuck with it. Look at all those red jerseys. So it'll be interesting to see how this team starts the season with that identity in mind. And Mason was really his belief in the young players with all the injuries that helped to turn the table from that standpoint. Now Nashville with a chance on for Ronta. Has to go to the post as Forsberg was sneaking in the back door and Ronta will hold on. Tied at one in the first period. Philip Forsberg almost made it 2-1 Nashville. With Patrick for Cody Glass with Vegas. Yeah, and he's an interesting piece. He's a young player. He was sixth overall in the draft cover. He had some injuries last year with Vegas, but he's he's a high-skilled guy with the ability to change the game. Now the Canes with an opportunity as Jarvis throws it out in front. He's gonna make this very interesting. It's all likely he goes back to juniors, but you have the opportunity to, to wait 10 games before you make the decision. Svechnikov tracks it down. Back to the point too far for Pesci. Now there's a lane. Does Janot have the step? Throws one right on, and Ronta calmly makes the left pad save. Yes, with Voss trying to get the puck into the Nashville zone. Instead, it squirts out and loading it up and a shot right down on the rebound as Ronta makes the save and the follow-up chance is put on by Tomasino. Their instincts will eventually yeah. take over and shift when they're conscious or in the battle. It's hard sometimes to lay off and that was a good call. And all you want to see from the officials, which is a good call there, is consistency in that call. And now Nashville gets their first power play of the night as the shot's deflected out of the score. Well, it starts here with a battle in the face-off circle and this is, a, this is always such important key to that success of the power play is getting possession and right here I like the movement down the wall Johansson takes it down the right side up to Roman Yossi and he sees traffic there he's got Yakov Trent and Matthew Shane high screen and just gets it through no chance for Ronta here as Yakov couldn't catch up to the pass just about an inch too far for Duchesne there now Carolina back the other way Ajo uses his body to fend off carry out for the Natchez what a play by Soros as Natchez on the backhand, had an opportunity, and a penalty will be coming up. This one, we've seen Ajo and Natchez make beautiful music before. This would have been a tying tune. We'll be, well, I've never done pump it up too much, but I, I trust my crew. Now a long stretch pass. will stream in, and C.J. Smith right in on Saros. Rebound chance, still loose. Jesper Foss gets a stick to it, and Nashville somehow survives and clears the zone. Well inside his blue line. <laughs> Gorgeous. To C.J. Smith, who had a couple in Tampa. And now let's talk about what you like from Saros here, mate. Well, I just like it was a nice move. You see Smith tries to open Saros up and slide it through the five hole. And just the body control, bringing that right leg and closing up the five hole. And then it's a battle. It's Cole trying to take the pass from Lorenz. He'll feed it back for C.J. Smith. Smith wraps one down low as Cole soccers it to UC Saros. Would have been good in England. It come off the ice. Oh, that's a oh, good goal. Yeah. I think if, if if that happens to find its way toward North Carolina split in Chicago, but Milwaukee has been excellent they developing have. players for a lot of years. Now it's Nashville in the Kane zone. Grandlin lays off. Shot deflected right on. Ronta with a save. Still loose out in front. Canes will get a stick to it. Slavin will knock it out of the zone. 
settle it down. Quickly plays it around. Reef and Bear. Official gets in the way, but Lorenz is able to bump the puck free. Now Cole has it for Carolina. Cross ice pass for the Hurricanes. Five. Jesper Foss streaks down the wing and beats Saros up high, and Carolina ties it with 6.38 to go here in the third period. Beautiful pass. Cole, head up. Terrific to Jesper Faust. It's all about the pass. Ian Cole, flat puck, ice condition, second half of a period. And Mace, Saros got a clean look at this. This puck didn't look to go end over end. He gets beat on the shorts. Ah, maybe it glances yeah. off that stick. Yes, it did. That was so that's that's where Andre Svechnikov is. Right now we're in a 2-2 hockey game with three minutes left in the third period. Nashville snapshot in the slot as a good chance developed there for Rocco Grimaldi. And Puck will find Sissions who came in from his spot. Now Carey on the back end still with it. And on Ronta still loose. It slides just wide as Trenton. He's got to stick to it. Now he finds Sissions who loads it up top for Yossi. His shot hammered right on. Ronta. Nashville will settle down the loose puck. Yossi looks up, knows this game is heading for a little free hockey here in the preseason. Very I'm nope. with two goaltenders here in the booth. That's I don't what miss you guys that. Want to do for Tripper. I don't know about you. I don't miss those days. I kind of do, actually. But I mean, the equipment has changed so much. Slavin calmly hands the puck to Sebastian Ajo with Natchez two on one. Natchez looking for Ajo. Drag shot right on. Saros with an outstanding save. Now Nashville perhaps two on one the other way. Granlin has it. That's going to be deflected by D'Angelo. Wraparound chance was put on by Granlin and Sar and it was a big save by Ronta. Is he up to Tolvin and Tolvin and snap drag, but he can't get the shot through on uh, Jarvis as the rookies out there. Now Svechnikov sends it wide for Jarvis. He's got speed with Svechnikov coming with him. Jarvis, Svechnikov can't handle it. Pesci's chance. That's right on him. Saros makes the save. And a half minutes to go here in this overtime. All right, I'll say it. If all overtimes are this good, I'm for him every night. Now Nashville, it's Forsberg into the Kane zone. Got to get it back on the return feed, but it'll be Ronta who handles that. Trying to set it up front for Tomasino, and he scores! And that's how this one will end. Philip Tomasino on the doorstep takes the feed from Forsberg, beats Ronta, and the Predators will end up beating the Canes here in overtime, 3-2. It's the opportunity to go out there in overtime here. You can see him follow up that play in the neutral zone, goes right back to the net, and you got to go back to the net. Right here, they win a battle. Forsberg gets it out to Tomasino. He finds himself in front of the net and just puts it through the five hole of Ranta. Good battle won behind the net by Forsberg. I, I thought little things. Forsberg hanging onto that puck in the neutral zone for an extra split second, and then puck retrieval. He comes up with that puck. He didn't assume anything. He finds Tomasino, as you mentioned, a first round pick. Ranta had looked briefly to the other side, so he might have been light tracking it. Ranta had a very, very good night.